what is happening guys welcome back to another video it is your boy fresh chunk class coming at you live from the 340 you guys see the title we're gonna hop right into it i finally got my hands on a carbon grill for this car it is not uh the mesh design like this one i actually like this design this grill doesn't bother me at all uh, especially since i have darker wheels now so we're gonna switch it up i'm gonna see which one i like more Damn, one second. Here it is, guys. <laughs> I had to put it to the side. So yeah, there is the new grill. That basically, it's pretty much like an M5 style or a typical M performance style grill. I do think that the carbon will look pretty nice. It'll just flow and there's like just enough black on it. So it won't look so blacked out in the middle. What do you guys think? What do you think is gonna look better? Uh, this one's fairly easy to take out. I think it's just one bolt and some clips. So uh, I'm gonna try to get this thing off real quick, swap it over and just test fit it, see how it looks. If I like it, it can stay. If not, I'm gonna put this motherfucker back. And there it is, got the grill off. But one reason why I say that I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this one that much is because it's more exposed and it shows the active grill, which I'm not really a big fan of. I prefer it just to be open so you can see the radiator, support bars and stuff. It just looks a little more aggressive. It looks more like it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? And versus this, having the active grill, it looks like fake. It looks like I have a fake grill. <laughs> So this only opens at like a certain temperature when it feels like the car needs more air. So it'll randomly just open up. Um, I know a way to open it up for sure is just turn the AC on max. Uh, normally it should open. If not, then turn the AC on max and put it in support plus. And then you should just walk to the front and you should be able to see it open by itself. You can have it open, pull the plug, and it'll stay open so that way you always have that open look. But like 95% of the people that do that, you get a check engine light. So um, it's possibly something that you could maybe code out. I'm not the biggest fan of the active grill. It's cool or whatever, but it just looks stupid when you look through the grill. So that's one reason why I don't think I'm gonna like this one too much because it's more exposed, it's gonna show more. This one kind of covers the active grill. So we'll see. Oh man, we in there like swimwear. It's easier than I thought. Look at that. So this little piece popped right out. I had no idea. Man, say less. Thank you. I thought I was gonna have to take this entire plastic piece off just to swap over this little bracket. That thing popped right out. All right guys, this is a preview sample of what it's looking like. I don't know. I don't know. I like it, but then I don't like it. Now you guys see, see a better view of it. I think it looks a little weird, but I do like the carbon though. I think the carbon looks pretty good. All right guys, here it is. I don't know what you think. I, I like it. It definitely gives the car a different look. Like for sure, it looks totally different in the front now. Hmm, interesting. I think the only thing, like I said, that's throwing me off is just the active grill. Just because I can't see through the grill, so it looks weird to me. But I like it, it looks pretty cool. If I can leave it open and code it out, uh, let me know if one of you guys know. If I can run it open without a check engine light, let me know what I need to do. Well, yeah, we'll be back to see how this thing looks outside in the daytime. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. This thing is hit, bro. It's rain, man. See how the grill's looking. Okay. I actually like it. I just wish that it didn't have the active grill. It would look so much better. It was just always open. But I don't want to check engine light, you feel me? But the grill looks pretty good. Sorry about the wind. 
She is due for a wash. Thing dirty, bruh. Car's taking a huge breath right now. Oh, a shower. Just like that, we back in there like swimwear. Dirty is full. The bull's coming out. <laughs> there it is, guys. She all cleaned up now. Yeah, the grill looks pretty nice. Definitely just needs to be opened. Like this man got a non-functional grill. Looking good though. Sounding good too. Shout out my guys over about trying. There it is. Shout out my guy upscale detailing for always taking care of ya boy. So a small update on the steering wheel, so far so good. I actually ended up taking the steering wheel back off. I don't know if you guys remember, but the button for the heating function uh, was sticking. It wasn't working properly, so took everything back off. And uh, sure enough, it was sticking on like part of the trim. So I had to shave it down a little bit to where it can fit. So now the button moves freely. And as far as this part right here, um, I did some cutting and rearranged the plug. And I got this to sit pretty flush now, so it's not poking out. I got a few more tiny plans for the interior, but overall that is pretty much going to be it. You know, there's not too much to do in here. Later. We hopping back into this video. We got the shoe palace. Quick, quick oil change on this thing, just in case we take it out tomorrow. It's overdue. I've been meaning to change the oil on this thing. I just haven't got around to it. So getting around to it now. She take care of me. I got to take care of her. Uh, let me actually put some heat in the engine. Get the oil a little bit warm. cycle I definitely know my oil is blacker than me for sure for sure I need to get one of those little roller things snap on yeah gotta use some castrol this is all that was available I normally use mobile one I don't really believe in all these super expensive oils you know why Cause I beat the living shit out of this car on my last motor. Using mobile one. And I never had a problem. I guess if you want to buy it, buy it. Yeah, but I feel like 40, 50 bucks for five quarts is reasonable and fair. Some people be spending like hundred dollars on five quarts of oil. Like bro, you're gonna drive the car two, three K miles and change it anyways. All right, so we take about five and a half because we have the oil cooler. Guys, I think I'm just gonna be a typical YouTuber and just like start doing corny ass tutorials. How to change your oil on a boosted 350Z. It's no different from the NA one. I'm just saying boosted to get views. I mean, the oil don't look too bad. <laughs> 
That shit looks like the Black Sea, bro. Lake Placid. But man, isn't it crazy? Ever since I wrapped this car Nardo, I literally had like no more issues. Like no more minor weird problems I couldn't figure out. Like this car has been 100% solid. Turn it on, drive, boost is great. This thing has not left me stranded. Knock on carbon fiber. It's been doing very, very well. So shout out to you. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Be sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Catch you in the next video.